On Miami Beach now, families left with nowhere to go. This after they were suddenly forced out of their homes due to unsafe building conditions. They say their rights as tenants are being violated. CBS4's Gabrielle Arzola reports on their urgent message. I'm in the hall right now, probably about $10,000. 10 grand spent in just eight weeks. Jose Maldonado moved here from New York to this Miami Beach apartment complex last year. With a $1,500 monthly rent, he thought he was good to go. Thing is, the building was in disrepair. Somebody has rain coming in through their lamp. Someone has like rain coming in through the window. Oh, the first floor gets flooded routinely. After many complaints to repair issues, they said it fell on deaf ears. So in June, when a storm blew in, part of the roof collapsed. In two hours, everyone had to get out. Now the landlord did put them in hotels, but a few days later, they got this email saying their lease was terminated and they had a narrow window to get all of their belongings. Before they knew it, they had no home, and tenant Mark Williamson says bills were stacking up. You know, which in the first two weeks, you could cost of almost $1,000 just on travel and food. After the events in Surfside, the Tenant Bill of Rights was updated to further protect residents from landlord negligence. The landlord, which in this case is Centennial Corporation, based in New York City, not only has to provide temporary housing on a three-month period, but also pay reasonable expenses involved in such relocation. The tenants here say they haven't received a dime. Fighting to protect normal, hardworking people and families so they're not displaced like this again. They tell me it's hard to find affordable housing here. Apartments average around $2,900 in South Beach. Now this group has legal representation. I reached out to the Sentinel Corporation and couldn't even get them on the phone. It's completely unacceptable. If any of us commit any kind of crime or don't commit to whatever our agreements are, we're off to jail, we're off to be sued, no questions asked, no hesitation. And so we're just asking for that same kind of equal coverage under the law to be applied aggressively and to be applied all the way through. We reached out to the city of Miami Beach for comment and have yet to receive a response. Reporting in Miami Beach, I'm Gabrielle Arzola, CBS4 This Morning.